for one please door nikal le guru do you want to buy? no thank you no thank you <laughs> right. my ticket mr guides now let's go in and exploring some more of agra today before I leave for Delhi obviously the Taj Mahal is the big draw card for Agra but you've also got a couple of other things one of them right now is Agra Fort it's a huge fort but only 15% of it is currently open to the public and that's a big area there isn't a great deal inside apart from fantastic architecture and big gardens big open spaces big courtyards palaces and lots of empty rooms but uh, it's nice to amble around. I recommend again getting here early in the morning, partly to beat the heat and beat the people. Not beat the people, but to get there before the people, if you know what I mean. You shouldn't beat the people. Washing laundry. There's the baby Taj. There's the laundry. And that's where we're heading. That's not too far. That's good. Okay, so now it's time for the baby Taj. Which is the tomb of. There we go, opening of the monument, sunrise to sunset. And entrance. 210 it looks like. This is the ticket counter, it's not the other way. Good morning. Good morning, hello, how are you? <laughs> yeah, good, thank you, how are you? Fine. Uh, ticket for one, please. Ten more. Uh, oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. And do security next. So I'll just put the camera away. Visit the baby Taj. Again, it's a mausoleum to another beloved wife, built again with sand. Uh, sorry, not sandstone. With uh, white marble and ivory. The gates are made of red sandstone. And it's on the other side of the river to the Taj Mahal. Uh, much quieter, much smaller, but beautiful and peaceful lovely place to come uh, entrance for foreigners is 210 rupees and I think uh, Indians it's 30 rupees of entry you're also not allowed to take in a lot of metal things or tripods or anything like that so uh, my tripod and everything even my little tripod had to leave behind uh, left with my my rickshaw driver and uh, back to hand holding the camera so sorry if I'm a bit wobbly today got nothing to steady the camera on and I haven't found anything to stand it on while I talk to you guys but 
This is my last uh, last few hours in Agra. It's been fantastic. The Taj Mahal really is breathtaking. Um, the other things, you know, you wouldn't come specially for, but when you're in Agra, the Red Fort and the Baby Taj are worth a visit. So uh, take a look around them while you've got the time, while you're here. But obviously, go and see the Taj. Then enjoy the rest of Agra. It's quite a mellow city. I'm going to sit here for a little while in the shade. I don't think I'm allowed onto the grass. It's beautiful green grass, but I've got the shade of a tree here and I've got a, a nice seat, so I'm gonna sit myself down, relax, just uh, spend an hour or so chilling out and enjoying this beautiful view. I hope you're uh, enjoying our trip through India as much as I am. Uh, thank you very much to everyone out there who has given me so much feedback about so many things, about information about things, uh, places to go, foods to eat, what the food is. It's very helpful. Thank you very much. Um, so thank you and I hope you're enjoying this ride. I'm now heading back to Delhi where I've then got to decide where to go. I haven't planned it yet so I'll keep you up to date on that. In the meantime let's have a look around the baby tash. <laughs> 